everyone. Today we're going to do string games. I'm going to show you how to do one string game. It's a very simple one, cup and saucer. And then I'm going to have my friend come and we will do a rhyme that has a cup and saucer in it plus string game. So for the first thing you need is a string for string games. And so I have this lovely, it's a piece of yarn, it can be any kind of string. Um, it needs to be about six feet long so you can get your adult to help you with that. And when you have your piece of string, you just tie it in a knot at the end. So I've got a nice little knot here and then you've just got this nice big loop of string and it looks like this. We're going to do cup and saucer string game. Uh, there are four steps to it. The third one I will warn you is tricky. So just be patient, we'll go slow and you'll pick it up. But it is tricky, but then the fourth one is awesome. That is a teacup and saucer. So the first thing we're gonna do is find your thumb and your pinky. You're gonna drape the string over your thumb and over your pinky. And the same thing with the other hand, over thumb and over pinky. So it's gonna look like this on both sides. You've got your index finger, that's your pointer finger. We're gonna use uh, each one, so we'll take it, go to the palm of your hand, put your, pink, uh, your index finger under and pull, and the same thing on the other side, get your index finger to your palm and pull. So it'll look like this, cool. Next, we're gonna get our thumbs. We're gonna go over the first string, on your index so over and we're gonna grab under and pull your thumb towards you and you should have a shape that looks like this. And now this is the tricky, the third step. So just be really patient and just go slow. We'll go really slow. You'll see I have two uh, strings on each thumb here and here. What we're gonna do is take the bottom one and just put it over the thumb and like this, but of course you don't want to lose any of your strings. <laughs> That's a challenge. Then you're going to reach over here. So again, that bottom string, I'm just going to reach over and pull over my thumb like that. So there's one string on the outside of my thumb and now it'll look like this. And now the magic happens. You're going to get your pinky, release, pull your hands apart and it just got hooked on the knot and ta-da! You have a cup and saucer. Can you see it? Cup and saucer. So we're gonna do it again just because I know the first time it's hard to know where to put your hands. So we'll do it one more time and then I'll have my friend Lisa come and uh, we'll do a rhyme along with our teacup and saucer. So we have this. This is pretty easy. You've got your string uh, around your thumb and pinky on both hands. Then grab your index finger, it's gonna to go towards your palm, underneath the string and pull your hand back. Index finger to your palm, pull out like that, and here we go. Next step, we're gonna go get your thumb over the top string of the index finger and grab the second, so just like that, and then draw your thumbs towards you so it looks like that. This is tricky step number three. So just carefully reach over, but don't drop any strings. Reach over and grab that bottom string that is on the outside of your thumb. It's really hard because they're easy to drop, but we'll just do that. And then again on this side, don't drop anything else. Grab that bottom string of your thumb and over top and pull. So it should look something like that. And then the magic happens here. Get your pinkies, release the string, and pull your hands apart, and teacup and saucer. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Lisa. You know the teacup and you know a teacup rhyme. I do know. And you know rhyme. actions with your fingers. I do and know I've just been teaching the kids how to do a teacup and saucer with string. Wonderful. With a string game. So I was hoping that we could do it together. Oh, I would love we'll to. We'll do the rhyme. Okay. And then you'll do the finger do actions. actions. Okay. And I will do actions, but I will make it myself. Your string. We will make 
a teacup and saucer. Wonderful. That sounds great. Uh huh. Okay. So, should we do it two times? We'll sure. do it first, then everybody will know it, and then we'll do it a second time so we're really, really know it. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. Do you have your. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I got my hands. Okay. <laughs> we know how to do the string game. Watch Lisa with her <laughs> actions. So, here's a cup, and here's a cup. And here's a pot of tea. Pour a cup and pour a cup and have a sip with me. Mm -hmm. Delicious. That was good tea, Lisa. <laughs> Can we do it again? That was so fun. I'm just we should. gonna have to carefully undo this teacup. Okay. Because if you don't, you get knots. Right. Knots with that lot knot. <laughs> So we'll get our, everybody get your string set up on your fingers. You know the rhyme, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Here's a cup, and here's a cup, and here's a pot of tea. Pour a cup, and pour a cup, and have a sip with me. Mmm, Delicious. Well, thanks everybody. Hope you enjoyed string games. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa.